Good morning guys, we woke up down south in Oceanside. So yesterday, I wanted to take a trip down south to the Sandlot Warehouse to pick up some boards. And I said, might as well take the van, go down, stay the night. Ended up meeting up with Dave. Um, found out some exciting news about Dave Pachinski, which I can't tell you guys, because it is a surprise. I got to hang out with Dave all night and we had a good time. We actually played uh, Nintendo 64 USA Cruising, which I'll give it to him. He won the championship but it was a good time. But before that, uh, on the way down here, I stopped at El Sereno Skate Park and met up with a couple of my friends to skate. Uh, ran into Yvonne Montero, which is killing it. Matt Berger came up and skated. Christiana was doing her thing. Tommy was out there, so uh, it was a good time. And we got some clips, so check it out. What's up guys? We have Manny's World right now. <laughs> Skating El Serena, let's go. <laughs> Did a pop shot? You, you know that uh, that was one of my. That was like one of the tricks I used to do back in the day. Word. Yeah, pop shot late flip. El Sereno is always a good time. It's one of my favorite parks in LA. So if you haven't been to LA or you are from LA or live in the area and haven't been, please go. It is probably the best skate park in all of the LA County um, outside of the private parks that you guys can skate. So uh, we're down here. It is about 8.30 in the morning. I wanted to come down by the water and uh, make some coffee and enjoy the view. And actually, I wanted to try out something that I something that I recently bought. As you know, I'm Puerto Rican and coffee is very important. You know, I try to live a very minimalistic lifestyle. Uh, I don't, you know, I tend to not want to need or have too many things, just only the things that I like. And um, coffee's one of them. So I need my coffee. I need it done the way I like it. You know, I just, let me use this tripod. I got this tripod with this handle. I, never use it so we're gonna tripod right now so I got this you know I travel a lot so usually I bring like a you know my water heater drip coffee oh you got his car started good job um uh, drip, so I make drip coffee but sometimes the drip coffee just doesn't do it for me um, it's sometimes a little bit watery sometimes it's not sometimes it's strong so I was trying to look for a portable uh, Greca, electrical 12 volt Greca. Greca is, I don't know how to say it in English, but it's the, that little metal kettle looking thing that you make espresso coffee in. Um, if you're Puerto Rican, you know exactly what that is. Um, so I was trying to do all this research, seeing what's the best espresso portable maker, and I kept coming across this nano espresso um, coffee maker. But my thing is, I wanted like you to put hot water in this and then coffee and then you push a button and then it makes the coffee. This one doesn't do that. This one doesn't rely on power, which is beneficial if you don't have a charge or if you take it on a hike and you don't have like a, a power bank. And I got the orange one because it looks super cool. Um, and it, it seems pretty easy and I'm gonna use it today for the first time. So you're gonna come on this Nano Espresso journey with me and see how the coffee tastes. 
take this apart. What does this do? Uh, this is where you put your coffee. So we're gonna need that. This is your little coffee cup that you make the coffee in once you're ready to push this button. This is all the little tools that you need. Uh, and then I believe this is like a coffee scraper to clean it maybe, I'm assuming. So, let's get this coffee out. Boom. We got cafe from Puerto Rico that I brought back. Cafe Madre Isla. Love that. Cafe Puro de Puerto Rico. Ya tu sabes, mi gente. So, let's get a little scoop. That island vibe cover. Which I believe this is from Ajuntas. Yep. From Casa Pueblo. Ajuntas. If you're in uh, Ajuntas, go to Casa Pueblo. Their whole thing is ran off solar. So they're killing it with that. You put the coffee in here. I can get a, that can get a little messy if you don't. Alright, I guess. I might have put maybe I might have put too much. Oh no. Yeah, I might have put too much. But now I know it's not a whole scoop. Let's try to see. Oh, yep, that was right. Coffee in there. Boom. That's here down now we're gonna heat up some water we, we have the water heating up we have the nano espresso and then what you're gonna want to do is you put the hot water in here and then you put that piece on and then you screw it shut and then you unscrew this piece and then you pump it and it pushes the water through the coffee and it gives you the purest of coffee with hot water pressure done by hand so it's kind of good you get a hand workout while you make your coffee before you go out and enjoy some coffee wherever you are All right, the water's boiling shut this off let's pour this water into this cup boom up to the line that up. boom put it nice and tight then what you want to do is you want to spin this and it pops out and you flip it upside down <laughs> and then what you're supposed to do just pump it louder pump it louder whoa oh man look at that that is pure Wow, it smells so good. Yep. When you pump it, you want to do, you know, steady, slow pumps. Well, this is a workout. No joke. Put this down. Then you smell it. Wow. That is... Some good coffee right there. Then what I'm gonna do is heat up some creamer. Slay, girl, slay. And once the creamer gets a little warm, we're gonna pour it in there and uh, enjoy and see how this coffee tastes. Oh, she's heating up. Make sure it's nice and warm. Oh, baby. This is my first Nano Espresso coffee. Oh wow, that's strong. That is strong. Wow, I can even put more creamer in there. Look at that. So if you if you have your own cup, you know you don't have to do it. You don't have to. If you have your own cup, you don't have to put it in this little one. This is just for like the to go. I have my own Highland Peak coffee cup, but I just wanted to use what this came with. Oh wow, that's good. 
that's good. I'm gonna have to make another one, then go sit by the water and uh, enjoy this. So let's go down to the water. All right, so we just got to Ryan's Park. Greg is inside already, he's gonna warm up. I'm gonna set up this new board that they are available now over at the Sandlot Times website. We have these two graphics plus the Sheck Pro model and then the mirror double autograph board that already sold out. So me talking about it is pointless because you can't get it. But now you know when we do special drops, the boards sell out so you have to buy them. So I wanna Grip this board, uh, grip this board with some greasy grip tape, my new pro model, and then we're gonna go off and skate the park. So, yeah. Would be a sugar cane because you come to straight. When he lands it to fakie, we're gonna call that the agave. You heard it here first, folks. Yep. Put a little bit of agave in the cup.
have it, you <laughs> Doggies. Beautiful the dog in there. Alright, so picked up a bunch of my boards. Shout out to Shag, Sandlot, Mike behind the cam. We got all a bunch of graphics that I will be taking with me on my trips. Shout out to Greg, he killed it today. I've been flowing them boards, so now he has to put into work and see what happens. Uh, we're gonna make some coffee in the van and then get another sesh. But let me show you guys again for the second time my portable coffee maker. 